I'm Iman Salam. Welcome to Afia Live Well. Afia in Arabic is well being, and I'm all about living and being well. It's a total lifestyle food, fitness, and faith. These combined create a state of Afia. Assalamu alaikum. Today we're talking about the beautiful hadith that incorporates eating one third food, one third drink, and one third air. I'm sure that we've all heard this hadith a ton of times. Did you know that it's always quoted wrong? Not quoted wrong per se, but it's missing a part. <laughs> People always quote this hadith, yet they leave out the most important part, the first part. Basically, in a nutshell, it's saying, tell the son of Adam to eat just a few morsels, enough to keep his back straight, and that is sufficient for him. If it's not, then one third food, one third drink, and one third air. The Prophet Wasallam taught us three levels of eating, a need, a sufficiency, and excess. So the first thing, need. The Prophet وسلم, only ate enough food so that he didn't feel weak. So he ate enough food to keep his back straight. An important thing to remember when you're thinking about how much food you really need, think back to the time when you're fasting during Ramadan. You sit down to break your fast, you drink your water, you eat your date, and subhanAllah, you feel good. So imagine that, keep that thought with you throughout the year and remember it every time you go to sit down, that you only need a little bit. Number two, sufficiency. Prophet Wasallam always chose quality food over quantity. So remember, moderation is key. Number three, excess. Never eat more than you feel like you need. Your body will tell you when you feel full. If you add more to that, you're gonna feel really sick. So this is the fun part. This hadith about the one-third food, one-third drink, and one-third air is really what inspired me to do my thesis on prophetic diet. I'm gonna show you an example of what it looks like for our stomach to be filled to capacity and what it looks like to only eat one-third. So here it is. This is our stomach after a really big meal, after you've been to a buffet dinner, or you've been to an open house, this is our stomach. Ugh, you're feeling really sick at this point, you're feeling tired and sleepy, and I'm pretty sure you wanna throw up. Yet yeah, this is an example of what one third would look like compared to what our stomach should have in it. You have to remember that our stomach is a muscle and as much food as we put in, it's gonna expand. The majority of diseases start in our gut, so don't fill your gut up to capacity, it affects the other bodily organs as well. Every body is different. Every body and every body. <laughs> so your body is gonna be different to your friends, to your sisters. Everyone has a different body type. Be aware of what your body type needs and how much portion control you need to take into consideration. Knowing what size portion control for your body is important to understand. This is gonna help you know just how much food is enough for your own body type. Each individual will obviously vary and the best way to judge how much you need is right in front of your hand, literally. So take a look at your hand and use this as a measurement for portion control. So your palm is gonna be equal to three ounces. This is the ideal portion you'll need when it comes to meat and chicken. Fingertip, this is equal to about one teaspoon. You wanna use this portion size for things like butter, mayo, or oils. Your thumb, this is about a tablespoon, so it's gonna be good for things like dairy, like sour cream or peanut butter. A cupped hand is about half a cup to one ounce. This portion is good for snacks, like nuts or dried fruit, even popcorn. Lastly, your fist. This is gonna be a tough one for a lot of people. Don't hate me. This is equal to one cup, and it should be used for measuring out things like your rice. This is also good for things like fruit or veggies, although you could definitely do more on the veggie side. In reviving the sunnah of well-being, here's a simple recipe that you can try at home. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, tell your mom, and join me in committing to reviving the sunnah of well-being. I know what you're thinking. You hate drinking water. It has no taste, it's boring. So here comes my little recipe for you. Yes, this is a recipe, even though it involves no cooking. But 
If not, then one third. One third. 